In late 2006, the pharma industry took an average of 15 years and over US $1 billion to produce a successful drug. So it was almost fool's errand for us to even contemplate doing this in the public sector. Sir David Lane, he bravely stepped forward to take on this task in the form of the Experimental Therapeutic Centre six years after the ETC-159 project started. We achieved the first goal when the first patient was successfully dosed with ETC-159. This is fast even by uh, industry standards. ETC has taken three molecules into, uh, into human trials. I think it's a lot to do with people, just a determination uh, to do something that's difficult and to achieve it was very much driving us together. None of us is a genius. However, we can form teams that complement each other. It is then a new entity and it can do incredible things. We're starting to see, you know, this growth of really exciting companies doing very innovative work in Singapore and that's really what A-Star is about, is creating an environment where that happens. We ourselves as a company, we've decided not to build our own research labs. So we're absolutely dependent on other organisations like A-Star to be doing great science. So I think the drug development scene is nascent. It is growing. I would like more people, researchers, to understand what are the potential implications of what they have discovered so that these discoveries can make their way uh, into the clinics, into the hospitals. As we move forwards, our eyes are now set on how we can leverage our drug discovery and development capabilities to better create and capture value. So we need to continue to foster an innovative and collaborative community. And we have to do this together to transform this little red dot into Asia's leading innovative drug discovery and development hub.